tonight, a man accused of kidnapping and sexual assault is in custody. He was arrested just a few hours after police released surveillance pictures of him. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from the west side where we're told he's no stranger to this activity, Kim. Well, yes, Glenda and Alan, Detroit police say they received a number of tips in this case, and the chief says the suspect has a distinctive characteristic, a missing finger. This very dangerous suspect is in custody. This middle-aged man with salt and pepper hair is now under arrest for the brutal attack on a 25-year-old woman. The woman and her sister came to this liquor store on McNichols east of the Southfield Tuesday shortly before midnight. The victim was in the passenger seat and she stayed in the car while her sister went into the store. And that's when the armed attacker made his move, jumping into the driver's seat, pointing his gun at the woman and driving about two miles west to the area of McNichols in Trinity, where police say he sexually assaulted the woman. He then fled on foot and then yesterday evening, Detroit police released these surveillance photos of the suspect, hoping for the public's help in identifying him. And they continued to hit the street, talking to people in the area, and it all paid off. He had a very distinctive uh, missing finger, uh, and he was known. About three hours after releasing surveillance pics of the suspect, Detroit police had the 51-year-old man in custody, arrested in the same area where the sexual assault took place. He was a parole absconder, uh, I want to say a year or so ago, and he was uh, taken into custody for that earlier. When he got out, of course, he reoffended. He just brings some closure, and this should be a message to anyone else. We will find you, and we did. And we expect to get a good look at the suspect in the next day or so when he appears in court. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kimberly, right now.